Police say Rodney's phone has been out of service since the party. Now the last information we have from uh, cellular data is uh, the 6th at uh, 33 minutes after midnight. So at about 12.36 a.m. in the morning, I saw um, a call from her and she was the last person to see her and talk to her actually. She called me at 12.36 in the morning asking if I still needed a ride home from the party. Yeah, the, the ping for the data points and everything were near the water. Uh, it's hard to tell an exact pinpoint or anything like that. but. Uh, just as much on land as it was in water. Last location known, our search expands from there. I had talked with Kylie and I had known she was going beforehand. We hadn't planned on going together and we ended up not going together. Party and I was with her basically throughout the entire party. Um, I saw her the second she got there and from that moment on we were pretty much seen together all around the party. We would break off for mere moments from each other. and we were around in there for a bit. I had asked her for a ride home when we were in the car because my ride was leaving and I wanted to stay at the party longer. And it started to grow really big, I would say around 10 to 10.30. It just blew up. Like, it started to get to the point where I was getting overwhelmed. And I'm a very social person. I've been to a lot of these parties. I've never been overwhelmed. I've actually been underwhelmed. But at this party, it was, it was very large. Like, it was bigger than any party wow. we've had in Truckee all year. And for a lot of years past, there were people from... What we think Sacramento, San Francisco, I remember sometimes. And then we went to her car to charge her phone and we were talking about um, just random stuff. And then it's kind of hard to remember. And so, or no, we were talking about um, her texting her mom.
she was going she's going to go camping out there later that day she What do you want people to know about Kylie? What kind of person is she? And what's your message to her if she happens to be seeing this? I, Kylie is just such a bold and outgoing girl. She's always down to do anything you'll ask her to do. From the top, who's who's Kylie Rodney? Uh, let's go back to the beginning, I guess, real quick. Just give us a, a rundown. Totally, yeah. So Kylie is one of my close friends. Uh, we met through mutual friends and we became closer in the past year to coming months recently, and she is just a light in a lot of people's lives. She's wonderful. She's she's smiling all the time. She's caring. She's beautiful. She's there for anybody who has ever needed her. She wasn't there camping. Um, we drove all over town looking for places that she yeah. might have parked her car to sleep. And she's a smart girl. She graduated with honors early from high school and yeah. was going to attend college. And I know that she was not in the right mindset or state to drive. And if she were to have driven, she wouldn't have made it far. Um, and so I had told her that but she still ended up calling me at 12:36, asking if I needed a ride and she sounded just really drunk I guess and I said hey I got another ride home because she was meant to be my ride home but I knew she was too intoxicated to get me home we're gonna leave together because later in the party I had asked her if uh she could give me a ride home and then I realized that she was too intoxicated to give me a ride home so I she was supposed to give me a ride home because I had asked her to give me a ride home because I wanted to stay later I then realized later in the party that I believe she was drunk or and I knew she was drunk and so I did not want her to be driving me home um, because I, you know, I know about drunk drivers and all that, and so... And there was nothing that seemed off about her. We went to her car to charge her phone, and we were talking about um, just random stuff, and then it's kind of hard to remember. And so, or no, we were talking about um, her texting her mom.
to grow really big, I would say around 10 to 1030, it just blew up, like grew to be way, way larger than ever expected. There was a lot of guys that did approach us. Definitely, I was getting a gut feeling during that that party that something something just didn't feel right with the amount of people that were there and how old some of these people were from the amount of people who did show up. I, it was scary. It was really scary. Right now, our estimate is about 200 to 250, maybe more. Rome is 12526 wants to know was there any cameras at the campground going into the campground? Is there any cameras no. there? No, no there's cameras. no cameras out there. The closest cameras would be the traffic cameras that start on I 80 uh, near the rec center. It's hard to describe exactly where, but I think it's on Truckee Way. But it's 89 is very um, um, covered in cameras. There's not okay. a lot of cameras out there. She, uh, 